The latest version of Microsoft's browser, Internet Explorer 11, comes complete with a host of touch features designed for Windows 8.1. In a blog post announcing the launch of the preview version of IE 11, Microsoft focused much of its time on the touch-optimized feature set available. The browser includes a stick to your finger feature that allows users to pan, zoom, and swipe around a website. That swipe feature can also be used for folks to go back a previous page or forward to a previous viewed page. In addition, the browser includes touch hover menu support. Touch optimized features are a logical addition in Internet Explorer 11. An increasing number of people are adopting touch-based devices like tablets and have grown comfortable with swiping and panning around a page, which is far more intuitive than the typical ways of browsing. Still, the vast majority of people actually engaging in these actions are doing so on tablets and smartphones, and though it will be available on the PC, and Apple has similar features built into its own operating system for many computer users interacting with the black back button, address bar, and other core features as they have always done is second nature. In other words, while touch might be a nice addition, it's not a must-have. In addition to its touch features, Internet Explorer 11 comes with support for up to 100 tabs per window and is designed to efficiently use battery life. Microsoft also says that pages will load more quickly and HTML 5 is fully supported without the need for additional plugins. Interestingly, Internet Explorer 11 is coming to Windows 7, and Gadget reported recently that Microsoft has confirmed that the browser will make its way to the company's previous operating system. It's not que clear, though, when that launch will happen. In the meantime, let me know what you think of Internet Explorer 11. Do you like the new touch-optimized features, or do you think that, you know, you're happier with previous versions of Internet Explorer and Chrome and Safari. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below, and I'll see you next time for a full review of Internet Explorer 11.